Hey guys, so for today's video, we are doing the introduction to my very first Project Pan series. I am so freaking excited right now. Like, I've been waiting to film this video. I'm pumped. I hope you are too. I've always wanted to do something like Project Pan, but I never really knew how to do it. And I was also just so overwhelmed with my collection at the time. But if you've been watching my recent videos, I did a declutter, I did a makeup inventory. So I finally know what's in my collection. And I know the products that I want to get use out of and finish or hit pan on. So over the past couple months, I've been watching more youtubers like kelly gooch sarah rose um there's also rebecca i will link all three of them down below because i just love their channel so much but these people have really inspired me to look at my shopping habits look at my makeup collection and I just want to change the way I shop for makeup and the way I use my makeup. This also might be kind of a long intro because I have a lot of things to talk about as this is my very first project pan. So if you want to just skip to like the actual products I'm going to use up, I will leave a timestamp here. I guess I should maybe say what project pan is in case you don't know. So pretty much project pan is taking a group of products. It could be makeup, skincare, hair care. It could even be like food and just trying to get use out of those products. Having like a specific pile of products that you're trying to reach for daily to get more use out of whether your goal is to finish the product completely or do like a usage goal or just simply hitting pan on it and over the past couple of months where I've been watching more project pan videos first of all they're just so fun to watch and you get to hear like honest and true reviews about the products because they've been using this product for such a long time so one reason why I'm doing this is because I want to get to know my collection more and actually get use out of the products that I have and this project just makes sense for me because I needed a system in place to get use out of my products because I was not reaching into the drawers behind me and grabbing stuff and using it. I was only using what was in front of my face. So I also kind of changed my makeup organization, which I might mention in this video, might be in a separate video, we'll see. So what I've done is I've taken my Project Pan items and I have them in my desk drawer in front of me. So these are the products that I see every single day and I'm like, oh, yep, gonna use this, yep, gonna use this. And it's really easy for me and I love this system because I will only use what's in front of my face and that's the same for me with like food, medication, clothing, it needs to be in front my face for me to remember that I have it. I'm also really excited to do this because it was really rare for me to hit pan on a product, let alone finish a product. I think the only products I've ever finished within the last couple years would be like a brow gel or like a brow pencil because that is something I use every single day. But I honestly can't tell you the last time I hit pan on an eyeshadow. I've hit pan on a blush probably, but like a highlighter never. Sometimes I like to look at the Project Pan hashtag on Instagram if I'm just like scrolling late at night and I've seen people pan entire eyeshadow palettes and that just blows my mind that someone has used up an entire palette. Like I don't know if I could ever get to that but that's amazing for them. <laughs> I'm gonna talk a little bit about my like consumerism mindset for a second. So obviously I'm a YouTuber. I have been buying and collecting makeup for years now at this point. I think I've been doing it for seven years now. And over the past couple years, I've gotten to a point where I was almost scared to use the products that I love because I didn't wanna run out of it. You know, I had a favorite blush or I have a favorite lipstick that I didn't wanna run out of because I didn't want to be without it. And I've kind of now realized that that doesn't really make sense. Like I should should be able to use and enjoy the products that I have and love, right? Like why am I not letting myself use the things that I genuinely love? It doesn't make sense. Like I hear people all the time being like, oh, I'm saving this lipstick for a special occasion or even like, oh, this wine bottle for a special occasion. But honestly, tomorrow was not guaranteed and you might not get to that special occasion. So while we are here on this earth, let's use the products we love. Like, I know that's so deep. I know I'm just talking about makeup here, but I truly try to live my life that way and try to find something special in every day. And it just doesn't make sense why so many of us deny ourselves of having this joy in our lives when we're here right now. Let's use that lip gloss you love, that wine you want to try, like just shit like that, you know? And on top of that, how many special occasions do I really have a year? Maybe like one or two. So why am I saving this product for a special occasion when I only have one special occasion? I might die before I get to that. <sighs> Anyways, use your lipsticks. <laughs> Okay, I know that was kind of long. It might have been ridiculous, but this is just my mindset recently. Again, I want to use the products I have and love. Let me enjoy my makeup. It's simple as that. Another reason why I wanted to start this project pan and why I'm really excited about it and I just feel happy now is because over the last like probably two, three years on my channel, you know, I've just been like pumping out eyeshadow tutorials, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, eyeshadow tutorial, bam, go, done. And most of the time when I would do those looks, I would literally just film this eye 
not even put on makeup the rest of my face and then wipe off that makeup and wear no makeup the rest of the day. So I was not putting on a full face of makeup unless like I was going out, going on a date with my boyfriend, something like that. Like I had a reason to. And so I honestly feel like I kind of fell out of love with makeup and just the artistry of it. And I didn't really enjoy doing my makeup anymore because it really felt like a job and a chore for me to do eyeshadow on camera. And I'm just being honest here. So I would really only put on a full face of makeup if I was like filming a sponsorship or needed to do a specific kind of video. And I wasn't doing it for enjoyment anymore like I was in 2016, you know? Like I really fell in love with makeup, I wanna say like my senior year of high school, so that was 2014 for me. And I was that girl in high school wearing like purple eyeshadow where everyone else is just wearing like, you know, blush and lipstick and I'm doing these crazy looks and really having fun with it and doing it because it's what I love to do. And over these past few years, I kind of fell out of love with that and I feel like I kind of lost myself within the piles of makeup I had. I want to say this shift kind of happened honestly like after cutting my hair off. Like now that you can just see my face, I love doing my face. It's amazing. And I finally feel like the way I did in 2016 when I worked at Ulta. At Ulta I started as just like working on the floor, you know, selling the makeup and stuff. And I, my favorite palette was the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And I would just use all the colors on my eyes. Customers would love it. And I would just do whatever makeup I wanted. I had my long full purple hair and it was just so fun to do me do what I wanted to do and then eventually when I fell into just doing eyeshadow tutorials because that's what you guys wanted to see I fell out of love with it and now I feel like I'm back to my good place where I love makeup again I'm excited to do this and part of that is that I need to do my makeup for me sometimes again I'm always gonna do eyeshadow tutorials and teach you guys looks and fun color combos but like today I did this look off camera and I fucking love my makeup I love this look I did it was so easy and fun for me just to like watch beauty YouTube videos as I do my makeup and I know that you guys do that too I want to bet you're probably doing your makeup as you're watching this video right now I see you. Anyways, I'm excited to do my makeup again. I'm excited to use these products and I genuinely want to use them and get use out of them. Now, after that long intro, let's talk about these products in my project pan. I do want to mention that I actually kind of put these products in my project pan uh, around January 2nd. So I've actually been already working on these because I was just so excited to start doing this. So I took all these photos of the products on January 2nd and did all like my little measurements and all that good stuff. So I definitely have used these products since January 2nd but I don't think there's that much progress because that's only like what two weeks ago and for this project pan series I think I'm gonna do kind of I think they call it more of like a rolling project pan where after I hit my goal for whatever product I will roll in a new product so I'm kind of continuously using something new even though it will still take a couple months maybe a year so as I was watching a lot of these project pan videos and like I didn't really know where to start right a lot of people said to pick kind of a mixture of products so pick some products that you already have some usage on pick products that you love for sure because you don't want to like hate pan a product and just use it because you want to get rid of it like you generally want to enjoy this process or else I think you would get burnt out so I picked a mixture of products that I have gotten a lot of use out of some of these already have pan on them but I also picked some kind of newer products and products that like have no sign of usage at all sorry my lighting keeps changing and it is a cloudy day today and then my plan is to do an update on my project pan every eight weeks so about two months or so I know some people do monthly some people do quarterly I'm gonna try eight weeks and we'll see how that goes again this is my first time doing it so I'm just I'm diving right in. Let's let's do this. So the first product in my project pan is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Moisturizer. Over the past like six months, I have fallen back in love with this tinted moisturizer. It is just so good. I already have a backup of it, which we'll see what happens there. But this is in the shade 30. And I already have a lot of use out of this. I want to say I've probably used more than half. It's kind of hard to see because there's like no markings or anything. So I think I actually weighed this product to track my usage. So we're going to do this guy. So I also threw in the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. And I think this is one of the oldest foundations in my collection right now. I used to be obsessed with this years ago. I think this is actually my second bottle and it's pretty low. Like I swear when I open it, I can like see the bottom of it, you know, when I shake it up and stuff. I just want to finish this one up completely. As you guys know, I've been more into tinted moisturizers and more lightweight foundations. This was more of a light to medium coverage, but I would just like to 
finish this one and get rid of it. Next we have the Too Faced Hangover Primer. This has been one of my favorite primers for years now. I think this is like my third or fourth bottle of this and clearly I have used a lot of this but there's still a decent amount left in here. Again this is kind of a hard one to measure so I think I did weigh it and my goal is to finish it completely. I know I can get there like I can wear this with pretty much all of my tinted moisturizers, my foundations, even on like a no makeup day it feels really good just on its own. So I think this will be an easy one to finish up and I'm excited to see how long this actually takes because it looks like it's almost empty right but I don't know how long it'll take we'll see. Next I have the Hourglass Bronzer in the shade Nude Bronze Light. Now this is my favorite bronzer in my collection. I think I've had this for I want to say like two or three years now and I use this so much and there's definitely like there's a divot in the pan right here but I still have not hit pan on this and I don't know how that's even possible because I use it so dang much. But I love this bronzer so much and I would just love to hit pan on this. So that is my goal. Uh, my goal is not to finish it completely. But I really wanna see how long it takes to get pan on this because I have used this so freaking much and there's just a little divot. I'm also kind of wondering like how deep are these pans truly? I don't know. So if you've panned anything like an hourglass powder blush bronzer, let me know. Next I have this hourglass blush quad that I think I got two or three years ago. It was one of their like little holiday palettes and and I absolutely love this so much. This specific one isn't available anymore, but their blushes are just beautiful. I love the sheen they have. And a lot of times when I use this, I'll just like swirl all the shades together. So my goal for this one is to hit pan on two out of the four shades. You won't really be able to tell, but there is a divot right here on this pan because sometimes I'll just mix like these two together. <sighs> So we'll see how long that takes. Again, I don't know how long it takes to pan an hourglass powder, but I love these blushes so much and I'm always really tempted to buy like all the new hourglass limited edition palettes they come out with. Like I almost bought last holidays, but I was like, I don't need to do that. I have this, I have some of their ambient lighting powder. So I wanna hit pan on two out of these four shades. I'm excited. I did add in a cream blush and this is the Rare Beauty Cream Blush in Nearly Neutral. So I actually do have pan on this already, which is very exciting. When I first hit pan on it, I actually thought there was something wrong with the item. I think it's actually like hollow inside. Does that make sense? Like it's not a layer of product. It's just like product and then emptiness around it, I think. I don't know. <laughs> But that's what it looks like right now, so that's pretty satisfying. But I love this blush color. I can wear this with almost any look. It really is just a good neutral color, and I love the formula of this. I did write down my goal as to finish this completely, but now that I'm thinking about this, my goal just might be to use it more and maybe roll it out in like six months or so. Because I don't want to get too bored of this, but we'll just see how this pan changes, and I think it'll be fun to track this progress. Next, I have the Anastasia Magic Touch Concealer. If you watch my channel, this was my favorite concealer, like almost all of last year year and then the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer came into my life and I kind of forgot about this one but I do still really really like it and I definitely have used a lot of this again this one's gonna be really hard to track the progress so I think I did weigh it on my package scale but I do love the coverage of this one the color is like perfect for me so this is an easy one for me to grab for like every day so my goal for this one is to finish it completely next I put in the Sigma Spectrum color correcting duo in light medium um, you've seen me use this many many times on my channel and I have pretty big pans in both of these shades in here. I actually just mixed both of the shades together and like today when I went to use it I had to like scrape at the edges to try to like get the edges of this pan. If you watch my makeup inventory video you would know I already have a backup of this so my goal is just to finish this completely, get rid of all the product and then I'll open my new one and I will be very happy. I use this product pretty much every day whether I'm doing a full face of makeup or not so I think I'll finish this pretty quickly but like I said when I was looking to project pan people said to do like easy and hard products. I would put this under the easy category because it is something I do use every single day and it'll just be really satisfying to finish it completely. I know this seems like a lot of product and it definitely is and I might just be like am I overshooting for my first project pan I don't know but for my next two products it is the NARS soft matte concealer I have it in two shades vanilla and custard I use vanilla for when I'm more pale and custard for when I'm more tan of course and I put these in my project pan because I've had these for about three years now and I already have a pan in both of these like you can clearly see I use this product and I love it but I'm kind of thinking these might like <coughs> Ugh. But I'm kind of thinking these might expire soon. Like, 
I don't know, just having a product that I put like on my acne marks and scars and stuff like that, I feel like should be a pretty new clean product. So I think after this year, I'm probably just going to replace these. So my goal is to just get as much use as possible out of these two concealers. Oh my gosh, stop dropping it before I need to kind of replace them, you know? So again, I would rate these in like the easy category for my project pan. Next, I have a brow pencil and I put in the Kosas Brow Pop Pencil. So I would say this is my second favorite brow pencil I have in my collection the first one being the Patrick Ta one and I found myself just only reaching for the Patrick Ta one before I decided to do this project so I decided to put my second favorite one in my project pan because I'll still use it I love the color I'll get the use out of it and once I finish this then I can go back to my favorite Patrick Ta ones so I don't think I'm hate panning this product like I do enjoy it I just prefer the shape of the Patrick Ta one more but I know I can finish this completely I don't use a lot of this product when I do my brows so we'll see how long it takes to finish like there's still as you can see a decent amount of product left so we'll see how long this one actually takes but I'm sure I can do it within the year next I put in the house labs gel coal liner in punk this eyeliner just makes me feel some kind of way if you watched my makeup inventory you would know I own three of these which is kind of ridiculous because when they started to discontinue it I was like oh my gosh I need more because this is my favorite black pencil liner in the world it's the creamiest the blackest goes on my waterline it's smooth like everything you want is this but I found myself not using it because I didn't want to run out of it kind of like I talked about earlier so knowing I have two backups of this I also have many other black eyeliners in my collection my goal is to finish this one completely so I feel like it's a pretty good size right now like you can still see all the letters so I would love to just get this down to a tiny little nub speaking of little nubs I also want to finish my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in iconic nude now this one's actually pretty small like we got some of the lettering down right here and this this is my absolute favorite lip liner color it's just like the perfect tone of pinky brown for me but again if you watch my makeup inventory I had like 20 lip pencils of almost the same exact color so I would like to at least finish one and then get to use some other ones in my collection so I think I already have a great progress on this and I'm excited to finish this one up all right we got two more products left next is the Fenty Beauty gloss balm and fussy I have had this lip gloss for so long and I absolutely love it and it was another product that I didn't want to use because I didn't want to be without it. And as I've been saying, that's just ridiculous. I should use the products that I love. So I love this lip gloss. The color is perfect. I'm wearing it right now with my iconic nude obviously and I think I bought this when it first launched because they came out with the gloss bombs. They came out with the like universal just gloss bomb shade right and then they came out with fussy and I was like oh my gosh that's perfect so I bought it so I've had this for when did Fenty come out 2018 2019 so I've had it for like three years now and I haven't even finished it yet so my goal is to finish this one up I love the color I love the formula it should be a pretty easy one to use now the last product I have is going to be the hardest one to pan because it is one of the newest things in my collection and it is the rare beauty highlighter in exhilarate to be honest the rare beauty highlighters is kind of what triggered a lot of this mindset shift for me because Again, if you watch my makeup inventory, I'm gonna say that a bunch. I'll link it down below, don't worry. I own so many highlighters, and why did I think I needed to buy two new highlighters? So, I'm not panning this because I'm mad at myself, but like, I am a little bit. But I do love the highlighter, like, it's a beautiful freaking highlighter. But I'm panning this because I want to not be tempted by any new highlighters that come out. You know, Charlotte Tilbury just came out with hers, and I've actually heard kind of mixed reviews about it, especially like the pans in there, it's a little sketchy. But I truly love this highlighter, and I want to show this product that I love it by hitting pan on it. My goal is not to finish it. I don't think I've ever finished a highlighter in my life. The last highlighter I hit pan on was Champagne Pop back in, what, 2017? so long ago so my goal is to just hit pan on this one which I think is totally doable I think it'll take me the whole year maybe longer but I'm ready I can do this so those are all 15 of the products in my very first project pan I'm really excited to do this if you have done project pan and you have any tips for me I would love to hear this I think all of my goals are pretty realistic and I know this is really gonna help me use and enjoy the products in my collection if you have used up or even just hit pan on any of these products I would love to know how that went for you and if you're doing a project pan let me know what some of your items are I think it's just so fun to talk about I love talking about project panning oh my gosh I had a dream the other night that I hit pan on a blush and I told my boyfriend he's like you're ridiculous. And I was like, I know, but it happened. So I will see you guys in about two months for an update on this project. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.